Hi everyone, this is Emma. Today I am going to show you how to knit these very easy baby boots. And even if you haven't knitted before, I think you'll be able to knit these. So let's get started. Welcome to Hectanooka 1. If you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down by clicking on the gear icon below the video. Before I begin, I want to apologize for any movement of the camera. I'm working with very long needles. My camera is between my two hands, so my arm keeps bumping on it, and so I'm trying to work with very long needles and not bump it with my arm. And to make these little boots, I'm going to use 7 millimeter knitting needles, and they have no US equivalent, so there's 7 millimeter needles. And if you would like to try making these little booties and you don't have any knitting needles, well look here. Pencils are approximately the same size as a knitting needle. So you could use pencils to try to make these little knitted boots. And if you have color on here, you could take some nail polish and brush it over the end and then the color won't come off on your yarn. If you don't have nail polish, you could use Elmer's white glue. Just rub it on and let it dry. Okay, so I'm going to get started and we're going to make the sole first. And I'm going to work with two strands of worsted weight yarn I'm going to cast on 20 stitches. If you're not sure how much you need, just wind the yarn around the needle 20 times, and then that will be the amount of yarn that you will need for casting on. Now I'm going to use my grandmother's easy cast on method. So I'm holding the yarn in my hand, and I take my thumb and I place it around the yarn, and then I twist it off onto my finger so that I have one twist here. Place it on my needle, bring the yarn around the needle, and then I'm going to drop that loop off over the end of the needle and pull that snug. So now to make the additional stitches, again I'm just going to wrap my thumb around, place it on the needle, bring the yarn around and then bring that loop over and off the needle. I'll make another couple and then I will go ahead and cast on my 20 stitches. Okay, I have all 20 stitches cast on. The first thing I'm going to do is work the soles. And in order to do that, I'm going to knit every row for five rows. So to knit every row, you simply take your other needle, insert it into the stitch, bring the needle through between the two stitches, pull that stitch over and off the needle. And that's the knit stitch. So you're going to knit every row for five rows. So knit every row for five rows. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've worked five rows of knit every row. So now I'm going to knit the upper. So I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to attach my main color. And to do that, I'm simply going to insert into the first stitch, fold the yarn over, place it on the needle, and then knit a stitch. And I like to lock my yarn in by taking one stitch with both the yarn end and the working yarn. So I just go ahead and make that one stitch with all those yarns and that will lock my yarn in so that it doesn't fall out. So that was knit two. And in this pattern, I'm working in ribbing of knit two, purl two. So that was two knit stitches. So now I'm going to purl two stitches. So I'm going to bring my yarn over to the front of the needles and I'm going to insert my needle into the stitch bring the yarn over in between both and then pull it over and off the needle and then make the second purl stitch and now i'm going to bring the yarn over to the other side and i'm going to knit two stitches one two and now purl two so bring the yarn over insert into the stitch, place the yarn between the two needles, then slide it over and off the needle. So I need two purl, two knit, one, two. Bring the yarn over, two purl, 
two knits, so bring the yarn over and two knit stitches. Two purl and two knit and two purl. So I've worked all the way across the row making two knit, two purl. Turn my needle and I'm going to work another row of ribbing. So two knits, one, two, two purl, one, two. So go ahead and work across the row in ribbing of two knit and two purl. Okay, I've gone ahead and worked three rows of two knit and two purl ribbing, and that's this section here. And now I'm going to start decreasing for the top of the foot. So I'm going to knit six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now I'm going to knit two stitches together four times. So two stitches together. So place the needle through the two stitches and knit. Place the needle through the two stitches and knit. I'll do that two more times. One. And And I have six stitches left, so I'm going to knit the remaining six stitches. And then I'm going to purl the next row. So that means the yarn on this side, place the needle through the stitch, bring the yarn over between the two needles, pull it onto this needle, and then slide that stitch off. So I'm going to go ahead and purl across the row. Okay, I've gone ahead and purled across the row. And now I'm going to work another decrease row. So I'm going to knit six. So one, Two, three, four, five, and six. And now I'm going to decrease two times. So I'm going to knit two together two times. So knit two together. Knit two together again. And, and then knit the remaining six. Okay, so now I have worked this section. Now I'm going to work the leg section, and that again is knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, ribbing. So knit two, one, two. Now I have to purl the next two, so bring the yarn over to the front, and purl two, one, and two. Bring the yarn back to the other side, and knit two, one, two. Okay, I worked all the way across the row, making my ribbing of knit two, purl two, in order to continue to work in the pattern. These are two purl stitches, so instead of starting with knit two, purl two, I have to start with purl two, knit two. So I'm going to purl two, and knit two. Purl two. Knit two. And 
and you continue across the row. Okay, I continued across the row, and then you can see that this is a knit row, so I will knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two. You can tell the purls from the little bumps on this side, and the knit stitches are smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and work five more rows of knit two, purl two ribbing. Okay, I've gone ahead and I finished my seven rows of ribbing, and I'm going to cast off. So sometimes in a pattern you'll see cast off, and sometimes you'll see bind off, and it means the same thing. And I want to bind off loosely because I still want these cuffs to be able to stretch a bit. So to bind off, you simply knit the first stitch, and I'm knitting very loosely. Now knit the second stitch, and then pull the first stitch over and off the needle. Now I'm going to have to purl too, so I'm going to bring the yarn over to the front because I'm working with ribbing. Purl the next stitch, pull the previous stitch over and off the needle. You're going to continue across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row and I'm going to fasten off and you just cut the yarn and pull it through the loop the same as you would in crochet. And there's what that looks like. So there's the finished boot. Now I'm going to fold this over like this. And I'm going to sew down the back and across the bottom. Thread my yarn into my yarn needle. And I'll just come right across here at the very tip. Like that. And then I'm going to sew across the back like that. And I'll just go straight across. And then I come through the matching stitches. Like that, so work all the way down to here. And then you can tie these two yarn ends together and weave them back into the finished work. And then you can thread this yarn end into a needle and sew across the bottom of the sole. So there you go, that's a very easy knitted booty. I hope you'll try these. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.